Hi, this is Lynn, and welcome to another Persuasion Bite, bite-sized tips on persuasion that you can use right away. In the 1800s, medical professionals were concerned about a new condition they were diagnosing in women. Women who suddenly had furrowed brows and clenched jaws and bags under their eyes. And they called this condition bicycle face. I kid you not. Women who had been cycling too hard. And they warned these women, your face could get stuck in this condition. And they also considered it more disgusting than smoking. And if you were to observe a woman with bicycle face, you were to get her off the bicycle immediately. Next, you were to warn her that she could only bicycle in a recreational way and certainly not aggressively and not in racing. Of course, we laugh about this now, but the truth is we encounter bicycle face at the office every day. Whenever someone we know behaves in a different way that we don't expect from that person, or whenever we encounter behavior we've never seen before. Because what goes on is that our brains are searching for meaning in this. So we look back at our history and figure out what can this sort of thing mean. We're looking for patterns. And because our brains also have a negative bent, because we're trying to avoid risks and threats, we have a tendency to stereotype and label things as something bad because we've not seen it before. How can we stop this? Three things. First, Become aware of it whenever you encounter behavior, such as a woman team leader who is decisive, but you've never seen one before, so you have the impression that she's aggressive and bossy. Or a male team leader who is talking to everybody on the team and trying to figure out their opinions and build consensus. And you've never seen this before, so you label him as weak and wishy-washy. You can see how little sense this makes. So stop yourself, become aware of it, number one. Number two, know that your brain is going to jump to that stereotype, to that bossy, to that wishy-washy, because you're trying to impart meaning to this. So take a deep breath and move on to number three, which is to evaluate the behavior on its own merits. Don't look for meaning in it. Look for whether or not this is appropriate behavior. Because otherwise, you'll be diagnosing all kinds of other people with bicycle face. So avoid that jump. And when you do, you'll see people as they really are acting rather than as you're judging them or stereotyping them, which makes it easier for you to become the most persuasive person in the room. Thanks for watching.